Buying breast milk online. Some moms make big bucks. Other moms get more milk for their babies. But at what cost? A shocking new study exposes the risk of having a stranger help feed your baby. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson has more. Alyssa? Bacteria, dangerous amounts, may be lurking in the breast milk bought over the Internet. And some of you might be thinking, of course buying milk online could be unsafe. Why would moms take a chance on milk mailed to them? Well, we discovered there's a gap, a subset of parents who want breast milk for their babies and can't get it. Make a tail. Sarah Patalita breastfed both her children. You know, it's the healthiest start for them. But when five-year-old Benny was a baby, she couldn't make enough milk. He was drinking so much milk that we, I couldn't keep up with it. A friend Patalita worked with happened to also be breastfeeding a newborn. I broke down crying at work because I didn't have enough milk to feed my baby. And she said, I have tons of milk. So she said, here. So she would pump at work and give me the extra milk. When supply was an issue again three years later with baby Aurelia, Petalita once again turned to breast milk sharing. This time, her search took her to the Internet and websites where women can find other breastfeeding moms in the same town. It seems like a no-brainer. You know, you have women with extra milk. You have women who need milk. You put them together and everybody's happy. Yeah. Patalita met up with the moms who gave her breast milk. It's just priceless. It's really hard when you don't have enough milk to feed your baby. And knowing that people have that gift to share to you, something that no one else can supply, it just means so much. There's no way to thank them enough. But other websites milk for sale from strangers across the country. Breast milk mailed to your door. A quick Google search and pages of breast milk for sale pop up. One site alone has nearly 3,000 classifieds. Moms advertising their milk with words like creamy, fatty, organic, vegetarian diet. Many with profile pictures like a dating site. The liquid gold going for as much as $2 an ounce. Even someone advertising some really positive features about their milk, it really isn't a helpful indication that the milk is going to be any healthier. Researchers at Nationwide Children's Hospital discovered online milk can be dangerous. They tested 100 samples purchased over the internet and more than three quarters of the milk had high levels of bacteria. 64 samples contaminated with staphylococcus, 36 streptococcus, and three contained salmonella. It's perfectly natural for milk to have a, quite a diversity of bacteria in it. It's just when there are certain disease-causing bacteria like E. coli or salmonella or when the bacteria are allowed to grow out of control is when we get concerned. Principal investigator Sarah Kimes says the contamination likely happened from unsafe pumping practices and not keeping the milk cool in the mail. We really were not surprised. Milk banks, under the guidance of the Human Milk Banking Association of North America, are the only source approved by health officials for moms to get breast milk from other women. There are about a dozen in the U.S., including Indiana Mother's Milk Bank in Indianapolis. What sets them apart? They clean the milk in a lab. We pasteurize milk to make sure that contaminants are killed. But even still, sometimes bacteria live, and we culture for that. We test to ensure that, that any milk that we are pasteurizing is 100% safe. The selling website warns any milk you buy online is not pasteurized and says it needs to be before drinking, giving moms a DIY pasteurization page. Two government health agencies advise against using milk directly from another woman or obtained over the Internet. You're online. You don't know who's on the other end. You don't know who's donating. You don't know who's checking. Sherry Ross donates her extra breast milk to the milk bank. She had to be screened to become a donor, and she follows safety guidelines, cleaning her pump every day, freezing or cooling the milk within a certain time. Illnesses or medications would temporarily stop her donations. They give you a sheet of everything, and it is very strict. Ross brings her milk to the bank depot site at Lutheran Hospital. There it's stored, shipped to Indianapolis, pasteurized, and then supplied to babies in NICUs across the Midwest. It could be life or death for a child. A prescription is required for a baby to get milk from the milk bank. A healthy baby with a mom who just doesn't produce or doesn't produce enough likely wouldn't qualify. That's the gap online milk buying and sharing is filling. Lactation consultant Holly Romery says before going to the web, ask for help. We use a big hospital grade electric pump to help encourage as much production as we can. And some breast milk is still benefiting baby. You're still giving 
a full amount of immune factors to your baby even with the partial supply because what goes up with your breast milk is volume the immune factors stay the same in there even if you have a partial supply you can add to it with formula, which is a safer alternative than buying it from strand, some stranger. Patalita agrees she would not buy milk from a stranger, but sharing with a friend, she says, isn't the same. It was a personal interaction. I met with people. We went to their houses. Like I said, I, I, we met their children. I met with them. They gave me the milk that they were feeding to their children. If they trust that to give to their children, then I trust that to give to mine too. Romery sees how that can seem safe, but says it's not worth the risk. You would not take a blood donation from anybody without making sure that it's screened, um, that it's tested, and I just feel it sort of it's, should be the same way with milk donation. More women donating to milk banks instead of selling or sharing directly to moms could close the gap and make the screened safe milk available to healthy babies too. And that is our ultimate goal. But at this point, we're not there. We need more donors, um, women that are willing to donate their milk um, to the Indiana Mother's Milk Bank. And then we would probably have a bigger donor supply and they would be able to open it to the general public. Now, it is important to note the bacteria study only looked at milk purchased online. It did not test any milk shared for free online or between friends. And researchers plan to look at that, though, next. Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.